people keep on believing the world keep on spinning till we reach the higher ground anyway that let's just start off um, getting on track you know having a little bit of coordination about things working with whoever we have here you know you know the format I often, I often said it, you know, if, if anyone's like, you know, responding to us or having any kind of exchange, uh, let's go there. And, you know, once they stop, and then, you know, we figure, you know, look somewhere else or, or possibly go over the top stories. You know, if you're not on Ebion, you're on the Red Eye. Red Eye Radio with Jerry, the nighttime Bremer. Out of, a, out of a 50 watt light bulb here in the Catskills. No, it'd be nice, you know. I mean, we're, like I said in the opener, we're just doing this for a while. Are we ready? I think so, I think so. But, see, the thing is, I can't really speak. I can't say, I mean, I can't go right at it. You know, I just have to work, you know, with whoever we have here. And, you know, see if they'll say it. You know, I'm kind of like, I think I can take this coat off. You know, it is nice. And like I said in the opener, it's uh, it's rather warm. I mean, I mean, you know, with this coat, this coat, you know, it's it's a really nice coat. But you know, I'll put it here on the car. You know, I like to be like nature boy. It you know, it fell down and stuff like that. Or I too, I do like to get every last drop. I guess that that stereotype thing, like you know, everyone in this area, you know, they're gonna. They go to Florida. They got placed in Florida, and they'll they'll go to Florida, and the winter will come, and the snow. And they'll be saying, "Hi, ah, I miss New York. I miss I miss New York." Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's nice. I mean, if you know, us doing this show, you know, if we found somebody like you know, who um, who's adamant, who uh was like, you know, had a voice to, uh, you know, try to, like, comfort people in these, these hard times, these trying times, these awfully divided times. I mean, I mean, there is an opportunity still here if I, uh, if I get with it, if I get back on track. There's a way to open things back up again. Have a lot more people here. And they'll not be needy on a... Wow, that that car is right on that... Oh, right on his bumper. Right on his bumper. Oh, I'm surprised he's not hitting him. It was that close. I swear to it. You know, if we had like a, a team here, a crew, I bet you I'd... Uh, so you can't chase stories like that. You can't chase stories like that. But anyway, getting back to this thing. Where we are. So, so this guitar player who um, played in a band with this one guy who was here. We, you know, we used him for, for a few few skits. He was my friend for a long, long time on here. A long time. And, uh, oh, I got blocked by so many people. And, you know, it's unfortunate because I'm really, you know, it really wasn't the way they perceive it. You know, I got to get up. I got to put my pants on, my shoes on, maybe feed a few cats, maybe look at the news, look at the Supreme Court thing, look at memorization. Look at, you know, people I grew up with, you know, because of my views. What views? Are they extreme, mister? Or missus? Or, or aliens? You know, whatever the case may be. I mean, what, what, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong about mentioning some stuff? You know, mentioning things. I mean, we all know 
why this thing is so uh, so big. I mean, it is it is about funding. It is about what. And why are all these people going in? I mean, there's so many. That that's the thing I can't understand why people don't concentrate on. Let me have a little bit of coffee. Well, it's just just for example, let's say Pelosi. Let's say Feinstein. Let's say Obama. Can anybody? Even even right, you know, Republicans and everything. But I, I I tend to have concentrated on a lot of um, you know Maxine Waters. You know, there's people. I mean, these jobs in Congress, in the, in the, in the Senate, and all that kind of stuff. You know, these, I mean, you know, what do they pay? I mean, start off it's like young ones, like Booker and Harris, and you know, all you know. However, I mean, the, the girl from Hawaii there, she's going on the mic a lot. And she's like, you know, all about this men, 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 men. You know, on the view, they're like, you know, they had this girl, America, on there, America Ferrari. Uh, you know, and then Feinstein behind her had, um, geez, I hope I can remember her name, Alyssa Milano or something, Alyssa Milano. So, so we see... We see all this stuff taking place. I mean, Whoopi show the pictures. Like, look, this is what Christine Ford was, was looking at. No, I, I mean, I guess they were old white men. I, were they Republicans? Or was the Democrats mixed in with that? I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But it was like, this is what we have to change. And sure, you know my aunt Lisa. She put her uh, her kid through through medical school, and uh, you know she always tells me a story because she's older now. Sometimes when I talk, she'll just bring it up. He's like, you know, it's like my son, like you know, when he was going for a scholarship, you know, he got, you know, he couldn't get it, he got beat out a lot, you know, because you know of, of circumstances and stuff like that. And the son's like, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind being beat out from it or anything or not getting it, you know, it's just, I mean, I, I think they should base it, you know, on, uh, on, you know, on their grades or, you know, or base it on something, something fair. I'm not saying it's not being, you know, based on, on, on fairness, I'm just saying, I'm just using that for an example. I mean, like Franco saying, oh, women, women are run, sure. I don't care who's in there. But we all know deep, deep down inside what it's all about. I mean, at least I have some kind of comprehension. You know, it's definitely, you know, with the abortion, there's a lot of money. It's like one third. One third. Of, uh, you know, I mean, somewhere in that vicinity. I'm quoting Michael Savage from the Michael Savage show yesterday. Uh, September 28th. May I have a little bit more coffee? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I take that back. It was from Jesse Water on the five. Now my coat looks like a, like some kind of animal lying there. But and the one girl, she was on the View. She's now, you know, she fills in sometime on this show. And Gerardo was there. Gerardo, I think, I think, I think he was the one saying it. He said some things, and and we're working on memorization. He said some things. Again, on the opener, I said, you know, there's no script here or anything like that. I mean, I just got to rely on, you know, if I'm, if I'm assimilating correctly, if I'm understanding it. So, getting back to this other thing, like, you know, a lot of people, they, they go in, like, well, let's just say $200,000, $400,000 jobs. Most likely $200,000. Get all the benefits, get this, get that. Government, the government shuts down, you still get paid, you know, all this kind of stuff. But they end up being worth like lots and lots and lots of millions of dollars. Just like, you know, Hillary and Bill and all that. And again, I'm sure there are ones on the Republican side, they're just not jumping out at me. And, they pro and, it, and it probably happens, you know, if it's happening there, just like I said, you know, all politics are local. I like to be fair. But today, I mean, this thing that we have going on here, I mean, a lot, I mean, we started off, you know, like the Me Too movement, 
you know, it, it seemed, my money's on, you know, it seemed to, to just be, you know, started mainly, mainly for Trump, to me. And there's always, they, they, they seem to have a lot of funding, like, to do things. Like, all of a sudden, like, things occur, things occur, and, and you're, you're saying to yourself, like, I mean, is this, is this, is this, like, spontaneous, is this accidental, or, or is this, like, on purpose? I mean, just things just, just seem to be happening. I mean, like, again, Feinstein, you know, she had Alyssa Milano there. And then, and the thing with, with Flake, I know he's a Republican and everything, uh, and I don't quite remember the name of the cross-examination lawyer from Arizona. Maybe I'm going to guess, I thought it's either Anita or something, Anita, uh, it's not Mitchell, but whatever, the one lady that was, uh, I mean, when she first came out, she was interviewing uh, Christina Ford. And, uh, you know, I, everyone was, like, interrupting. I said, you know, you can't ask her this, can't ask her that. But then she went ahead and interviewed Brett, Brett Kavanaugh. And uh, the description and, 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 like, the things that she was saying, like, you know, I'm not going to use these words. But, um, but again, Flake... And this girl, they're both from Arizona. And then the, the thing with, with, with Feinstein and Alyssa Milano. And The View. And then CNN. And then MSNBC. And then Good Morning America. And then the TV shows. And then Steve Colbert. And then Jimmy Kimmel probably will throw him in there. Jimmy Fallon, I don't know. I think he's just happy to be here.